Good morning. You listen to FloridaLady.net, and I'm Kim Parr. I'm in Austin, Texas at the Starnet Fall Meeting, and I'm with Kathy Cloud, the co-owner of M. Frank Higgins in Connecticut. Kathy, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Kim. Thanks so much for having me. It's good to be with you. I want to talk about the amazing women of Starnet, a new program at Starnet. We'll get to that in just a minute. Let's catch up, though, first on your business. How is business? And business is doing very well, thank you. We've had a, a tremendous year overall, and things are looking good into next year. We have some great uh, projects coming up, some new bed towers going up in some hospitals. I think we have three hospitals in Connecticut that are building. The education sector is booming, colleges, universities, K-12, a lot of growth there. We talked right after you went to the Kentucky Derby in 2021. Mm-hmm. And you had said business was off about 20%. So have you recovered all that? Yes. We, yeah, we definitely have recovered that and, and more. So, yeah, we're, we're really happy with where we are. So what would you say in 22, your growth versus last year? Close to, you know, 23% or so over last year, something like that. You also have written a column in Floor Focus magazine on subfloor prep, mm-hmm. which was a great article. I appreciate you doing that. We're here at Starnet. You're husband Steve and business partner is vice president on the board so you're very active you also serve on the specifier committee with Starnet right that's correct yeah I'm the specifier and business development committee and that's going very well our committee is hosting two workshops this morning which we're very excited about one dealing with just the specifier and we have a, a guest specifier coming in from the area and one dealing with vendor partners and it's a round table kind of thing and so that should be exciting for all have you gotten a chance to catch up with our October issue? Because we did a survey of specifiers that has a lot of great information in it. And it actually points out that the commercial contractor is still a big influencer and advisor to them. They find value with the relationship. Yes, and that's actually my, my, one of my favorite ones. And I share it when I do CEUs and presentations to, with, to the design communities. I kind of share some of the stats from that. And I actually found that this uh, year, in 2022, I feel in our market, the dealer is, any more, is more important and more important to the vendor as well as the designer because some design firms are still not fully open. They're doing more of a 3-2 model, three days in, two days home, and they're not letting the vendors in as, as much in our area as they were before. So the vendors are really looking to us to help bring them in to the, either into the specifier or have the specifiers come to us and, and we have a meeting. So it's, it's working out well. It's working out very well. So they'll let you in as a dealer, but they won't let the rep in. Right, that's it. Or they're willing to come to our space. What are some of the challenges you're facing? Well, the challenges always are, you know, there's not enough of us to go around. So we are short staff, but we are very fortunate that our installers... We're very good in that department, and I think a lot of it has to do with we are signatory to the Carpenters Union. We have a very good group of installers that work directly for us, and they help recruit for us, and their cousins and their brothers and their friends, and that's been very successful. Where we're struggling a little bit more is finding that project manager, the estimator, the sales, and so we're all, we are short staff, and we're all doing a lot uh, with less of us. So hiring good people is, is your biggest challenge. Yes, that that is. I would say that's our biggest challenge right now, hiring good people, and then, and then just trying to collect money. <laughs> you know the old that, but that's old adage all the time. But it, I do feel like it's getting a little harder. We're finding payments. I don't know. It was a COVID thing, and then now kept you know payments rather than you know in sixty days. Mm, it's approaching the ninety days on some projects. So that's a real struggle for us as well. I know you expanded geographically. We are expanding more uh, geographically. Our son, who's in the business, so he lives in southern Connecticut, closer to New York, and so he's expanding in all of that area and into Westchester County, and we do also do Massachusetts as well. Okay. Well, let's talk about the amazing women of Starnet. Tell me a little bit about that. So this group was really, I, I, I want to say it was Rob Starr's kind of brainchild. Last uh, spring, we started talking about it at the Specifier Business Development Meetings, and he asked me to kind of spearhead it. Really um, inception of growth from just things we've been hearing from women in Starnet that come to these meetings that they often are timid or kind of intimidated a little bit to ask questions because of, the, of the, just the nature of the group. It is a, you know, a fairly male-dominated group, and they're just more of a safe uh, environment. So we thought, let's, let's 
let's do something. Let's get together and uh, do monthly uh, webinars that we, we can host virtually and have different topics. Guest speakers can come in. Vendor partners already are very interested. Some, you know, Whitney Welch from Delta is very interested in being a member and Shannon from Milliken and to offer best practices. Uh, Stacey Murphy from Corporate Floors has been also a big ringleader in this as well. And one of the things that she was talking about, you know, we want women to play to their strengths and also ask for help when you need it. And that's what this group is about, asking for help when, when you need it and, you know, best practice, kind of a safe, you know, just a safe environment to grow. A couple of questions. So you're having an initial meeting, the group here, and I think that's probably encouraged more women to come to this meeting this fall, don't you think? Yeah, I, I do think so. And I think it can, can be used as a recruiting tool. When you, as you're hiring, and you're hiring uh, all different kind, uh, types of people in your business, this might be a, a plus to have, they, they can come to the meetings, and or they can also do the monthly you know, virtual meetings that we're going to have and help design what topics they want. So it's something they can offer the women that they're hiring to have another support network. In flooring. Now, I know Cheryl Oterno was the first female to be on the board. Is she uh, going to be part of this group? Absolutely. She was really excited, and we actually we talked about it at length over a glass of wine or two at, at the vineyard when we were out at Napa at the, um, at the Member Connect event. And, yeah, she was very excited. And, and she's the type of person that would be a great uh, to host one of these uh, to see, you know, how she has grown her business and what pitfalls that she had to overcome. And, and so she was excited to be asked to, to do that. All right, so it's going to be a, a networking group. It's not a single event. You're building a committee that's mm-hmm. going to be ongoing. And, right, right. Yeah, and so I guess with today's kickoff, you're going to communicate the, some of the details of what the plans are? Yes, we're going to challenge a little bit is, you know, you got a three-hour time window from East Coast to West Coast, so we got to figure out when we're going to be hosting, maybe changing up the times, types of topics people are interested in, priority of topics. We really want feedback, and, uh, and, and also I'd like to get the group together to have a, like a mission statement, really what is our mission, and, and go from there. You know, you're also on this other committee, the, the, the specifier committee. So your customer, your target, it mostly is female there too, isn't it? It is a big female base, yes. Yeah. I would say that is, that's, that's accurate, yes. I mean, it, yeah, we work with everyone, but it is predominantly a lot. So I think this could be uh, a strength. Like we want to pull in, you know, people that can help, especially for guests, you know, from, from the design community. So I think it's going to be a win-win for everyone. Okay, outlook for next year in business. You think it's going to continue to be as strong as it is now? We definitely see it being strong going into all of 2023, 2024. You know, we're still a little bit cautious, but uh, we, we think it's going to be a strong year next year. Okay, Kathy, thanks for spending time with our listeners. Again, been talking to Kathy Cloud, co-owner of M. Frank Higgins in Hartford, Connecticut, and you've been listening to Kemp Har and FloorDaily.net.